Hey everyone, G loves trains here. You join me this morning here in a rainy Manchester where I'm about to have a ride to somewhere that I've actually been wanting to go to for quite a while. Now, Transpennine Express had one of the £1 ticket sales last week, so I immediately went and managed to grab myself a £1 ticket. So come along with me today as I take a £1 train ride to Saltburn. All right, I'm down here on platform 14, as per usual. A little bit out of breath, I've just had to run for the train, but it's just pulling in now. Yeah, it is the 8.58 service I'm getting on. This is a Trans Pennine Express service to Saltburn. The next stop will be Manchester Oxford Road. Oh, okay, I'm happy I've made it onto this train. Yeah, there was a bit of a mad rush in printing off tickets then there was um, a bit of disruption getting into Manchester this morning but anyways happy days now I can just chill I'm on board 185 136 and I've got three hours overall on board this journey all the way through to the terminus It is actually quite quiet on this train, well, at the moment anyways. I mean, this is the quietest I've seen a 185 in quite some time. It is actually a doubled up 185 as well, which is brilliant. And for once, I'm not actually sitting in my favorite seat by the toilet. I've actually come to sit in E1 because I was given a seat reservation uh, with the one pound ticket. But I am happy in this one. It's at the back of the coach and I've got some lovely views out of the window. Thank you. I was slightly concerned that I'd have to go the next three hours without having a drink. However, I was just very glad to see the trolley service coming down the train. So, yeah, managed to grab myself a drink from that. I was a bit thirsty. We've just passed the halfway mark of the journey as we have just departed York. The train is still very quiet, which is great. And uh, the journey overall is going by pretty quickly, to be honest. I have just had a look out of curiosity at what um, an advanced single would cost me without the one pound sale. And it's coming up as 21 pounds 70 with a rail card. So yeah, save myself over 20 quid though. We're just making a stop at Middlesbrough and this station is the furthest one along the line that I've actually been to so even if it is only 20 minutes off the terminus after we leave here I am excited to see what the rest of this route is like. So I was just going to go and have the toilet before I get off, but yeah, no thank you. <laughs> I'll have to go traipse down to the other toilet and this train, honestly, like, I think everybody just got off at Middlesbrough. <laughs> Alrighty, here I am at Saltburn. Um, it's quite rainy. I'm glad I've brought my umbrella. I was wondering whether on the station side it would say Saltburn or Saltburn on the sea, but it does say Saltburn. And I have now got five, I think, I better check that actually, hours here to spend in Saltburn. So yeah, gonna get outside of the station and uh, have a see what the place is like. OK, 
okay so the great thing about Saltburn is everything I've seen on maps that I want to go to is pretty close to the railway station so yeah I've just come for a 10 minute walk I don't even think it was 10 minutes to be honest more like five to Saltburn Valley Gardens it's called yeah just checking this out now and uh, there is a storm going on so Hopefully you won't be able to tell too much when you're listening to this, but I sure I'm feeling the effects of it. <laughs> well, I found a nice sort of spot to shelter from the rain. You do get a view up here of some tree hills and there is a miniature railway down there. I do know it's like temporarily closed at the moment. And I'll tell you something else. I have got Murder on the Dance Floor stuck in my head. I may have watched Saltburn yesterday thinking it was a film about the place, but uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't. <laughs> Of course, the main thing I want to go to is the beach. I'm just walking alongside a piece of flowing water here called the Skelton Beck. This is going to lead into the sea. So yeah, just going to follow it along and I'll be at the beach in no time. Oh, great. I'm going to have wet feet walking through puddles. I have made it down on the beach now, just going to have a little walk along it. I am one of like very few people that I can see along here. I don't think many people have come out today. Uh, I was half tempted to go for a paddle in the sea. It is quite pebbly on this beach, man. you. So yeah, I'll see how I'm feeling about that. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful here. Love uh, the views of the cliff sides as well. Just making my way underneath Saltburn Pier. You have got the cliff tramway running up this hill, although it's not running at the moment. This is also temporarily closed. Um, I did read it's because there was a fire there. And then a little bit further down here, there's this row of beach huts and you can actually hire one of these out for the day. I did have a little nosy online and for, I think it was about 30 quid, you get a sort of what looked to me like a kitchen space but uh, they're very pretty, aren't they? All different colours, they've all got different names as well. Well, I may not be able to get the tram up here, but at least there's some steps. Oh my days, I thought I was out of breath running for that train this morning, but those steps, they're a lot worse. But would you look at this? I've just climbed to this sort of little viewing area here. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Squishy bye-byes! Alrighty, I'm hoping there's a way back down, down this way. It would be really handy if I could just catch a tram right now. But uh, I think I need to find somewhere a little more indoors because, yeah, this certainly isn't beach weather today. <laughs> So there were a few ship inns I went to in Aberporth and funnily enough here I am in Saltburn in another ship inn. Just come here for a bit of dinner and yeah again just to take shelter from that wind for maybe a couple of hours. <laughs> so it's a little bit flowery, you've just got a bit just all round. Have I? <laughs> Better? Yes. And it's really cold, but I'm gonna go have my paddle now. I hope the water's a little bit warmer. Right. Ah! Right. <laughs> Roll my pants up. I'm sure I was once told in the winter the seawater is supposed to be warmer than in the summer. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> ah, my feet froze. Well, 
well I thought I'd finish the day with a walk right down to the end of the pier and again it is so quiet here I've literally got the entire pier to myself Oh geez, it's really quite windy down here. For once this year as well, I've managed to stack up my videos finally. And I said to myself, I don't need to go out filming that much at the start of the year. But honestly, when I saw this TPE one pound sale, I couldn't resist it. It's been amazing to finally have a ride to Saltburn and check it out. And also I've managed to grab myself a one pound single for the, return, <laughs> for the return journey back to Manchester. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye bye.